Hello everyone, this is Glenda and welcome to my channel Creative Grandma. Today's video I'm going to show you 10 wonderful kitchen projects that you can make and just brighten up your kitchen. You can have fun, put your own twist on it, use different colors, anything is possible. So let me show you the 10 patterns that I think are just wonderful for the kitchen. Very useful. So let's get started. So starting with number 10 and working our way to number one, I'm going to start with an older pattern and this one is called the spring flower dishcloth. I made this about a year, year and a half ago and this is a super quick dishcloth and if you have a lot of those cotton scraps left over from making other dishcloths and you always wonder what to do with them, you don't want to throw it out but you just want a purpose for those scraps, this is the pattern for you. This is only seven rounds long and it works up so quick because you're using double crochet stitches. Now I'm only going to spend about a minute on each design I'm showing you because this video is geared more towards giving you inspiration and showing you projects to get your mind going thinking of what you can make for your kitchen. So you can get so creative with all kinds of different color combinations. Number nine is the daisy dishcloth. Now this is a more recent dishcloth that I made and I do want to remind everybody everything that I'm showing you in this video I have a pattern for on my website and I have how-to tutorials on each one of these patterns I'm showing you. So if you see something you want, you can just click that link and go right to the video and I'll show you how to make it. So this daisy dishcloth, again, is only seven rounds long and it's super quick because you're using those double crochet stitches. So I have three samples showing. We have the blue, the yellow, and red. Now the only thing about these samples is I made all the daisies white. Now you can change that center color of the daisy and you can make that flower any color you want. Number eight is pattern number 532 and this is the spring garden floral dishcloth. I'm not quite sure when I did this. I think I did it about a year ago. And what I tried to do with this design was I used those popcorn stitches in the center to make the floral because sometimes we want that little bit of like a scrubber. So the center is kind of like a scrubber because you have those heavier stitches forming the flower to act as a scrubber to get those pots and pans clean. Now this is 10 rounds and this is a more intermediate level using the single, the double, and the triple crochet. So you can see the first sample here and part of the second sample. The first sample and the second sample both use that bright white in between the accent colors and I just think that really makes the design pop. Now you can choose other colors for that center but just be careful that it doesn't take away from the actual center of the design and that border trim. Now I have a couple more dishcloths to show you and then I have some other wonderful kitchen patterns. I have some scrubbies and towel toppers so let's move right on to number seven. Pattern number seven is the heart dishcloth. This is pattern number 520. Now this pattern is more of an intermediate advanced pattern. This pattern is not for the beginner. This just requires a little more skill because of the way the pattern was put together. Now I designed this for Valentine's Day, but this is a really nice pattern as well for like a country kitchen if you use those beiges and tans and blues and burgundies. It really makes a really pretty dishcloth for a country kitchen. Number six is the no border dishcloth pattern number 124 and I have to say this has been one of my most popular dishcloths and the reason being is because I have so many beginner crocheters that a lot of times they were looking for a pattern and they're not quite sure how to do the borders around a dishcloth and go up those row ends and I wanted to design a dishcloth for the beginner crocheter one that you just start work your rows and finish no 
border and this is why it's called the no border dishcloth now I have three samples showing you can see that full sample with the white with the blue and green stripes and that is very high contrast and it really shows the pattern when you use those high contrasting colors now, so let's take a closer look at the pink one now I thought the pink one was really pretty because the colors blended in so nicely I used that white and pink for the stripe but it just kind of blends it together and then you can see partial of the multicolor with the blue one where the design kind of doesn't show up quite as nicely it just kind of like just it's there but the multicolor takes away from that stripe but it just gives you an idea of some of the possibilities when you're making these dishcloths and again it's one of those wonderful patterns where you just work in rows it requires no border and they work up extremely quickly and this is for beginners it's an excellent pattern if you're just learning how to crochet and you want to learn how to make a dishcloth then this is the pattern you should start with learn how to make the dishcloths when you get comfortable with that then move on to one of the other ones where you can learn how to put the border on this is number five counting our way up to number one so we're halfway there this is one of the first dishcloths I ever made a video of and this is pattern number 101 and it's called the knobby dishcloth this again is an excellent pattern for beginner because you're using just a single and double crochet and it just creates a really nice pattern now with this sample I have three samples to show you today this one's a multi-color and those bright rainbow colors colors that creative grandma loves so much but the thing I liked most about this is when you're washing dishes and you're trying to get in the bottom of those glasses and you just need something to get in those nooks and crannies I put this pico border around here where you get these little knobbies is what I call them and it really helps get into those nooks and crannies in your glasses or dishes when you're trying to get that food off of them and again this is an excellent pattern for a beginner beginner and then it teaches you how to do that knobby border and I have that video and I walk you step by step right around that border so you can just feel so good about your kitchen having all these different dishcloth patterns now this is the last of the dishcloth patterns for this uh, countdown we're going to move into some other useful kitchen items but let me show you the other samples of this pattern so here's a sample made in that crisp clean bright white and it just shows you how beautiful they also look in just using those solid colors so if you like the solid colors these make excellent gifts just pick the colors of your friend or co-workers home decor if you need them as a gift and just put ribbon around them and they just make an excellent home warming gift they're great for craft shows let me show you my third sample my third sample is another multicolored dishcloth that's the knobby dishcloth now the only thing I forgot to do was I should have done one where I used the multicolor with a solid border maybe a solid white for that knobby trim around the end or the white one with a multicolored knobby border around it would also look nice and that's where I tell everybody get creative when you see these patterns you don't have to follow them exactly you can put your own spin on them use your own color add a different color border make at your own unique style working our way to number one we're now on number four and this has got to be one of the most useful items that you can possibly make for your kitchen now these I make using two inch strips of netting now I buy it by the yard usually at Joann fabrics you can get it in so many different colors and they're excellent for craft shows as well they're only four rounds long which means you can really make these quickly now this is where you you make the front side and back side so you're making two pieces and then you crochet them together but they really work up quickly and it's one of my most popular patterns to date for making scrubbies number three on our countdown is the rosebud dish scrubber this is pattern number 113 this again is a very versatile pattern this is more of an intermediate level it's only five rounds 
for the front top part of this. You make two pieces, crochet it together, and you get a scrubby, and you can just use the top piece, put that border around it, and you can turn it into the coaster like the pink and white version. This is an excellent way to use up those scraps because it is such a small project. So get those scraps out and get started. Number two of the countdown is the quick and easy towel topper. And I know I have a lot of subscribers who do those craft shows and a lot of subscribers who love making those kitchen towels. And I was at a craft show and I got this idea because I've seen someone make towel toppers using pot holders. Now, it's really hard to find pot holders with the loop on the diagonal in the corner, but they took the pot holders that had the loop in the corner and they folded it right in half and sewed it to the center of the dish towel. And I thought, well, how can I do that and make them crochet, something fun that's crocheted? So I designed this one. All it is is just a crocheted square, and then you just work those shell stitches up to make the handle. They work up super quickly. Now there is a little bit of sewing required in this pattern. Now my pattern, I use worsted weight acrylic yarn but if these are going to be near a stove or some place that may get hot, you may want to choose to use cotton yarn instead. Our number one pattern of the countdown is the No Sew Towel Topper. This is pattern number 115, and this is one of the fastest patterns. If you're a person who likes to do craft shows, or you're a person who just doesn't like sewing those toppers onto the towels, then this is a fast, easy way to make those towel toppers by using the three inch metal ring and then crocheting the hanging strap. This is a really good pattern because you can make so many of these in a day. And if you're trying to get ready for a craft show in a few days, you can make a lot of these in a day. Now, the good thing about these is you can switch these towels. So if you're at home and your towel gets dirty, you don't have to wait until you wash and dry the towel. Just grab another towel and stick it in your holder. No sewing. You just strap it to your stove or your cupboard and just change those towels. It's excellent. You can make them for Christmas and Christmas colors. Change the colors every time you get new towels. Just a wonderful pattern. I think you're going to love it. I think once you find out how fast you can make these up, you're going to make these in a variety of colors because we all go through a lot of kitchen towels over the years. So that was my top 10 picks for fun projects for the kitchen. Make sure that you write in the comment section which one was your favorite. That gives me an idea for future projects on which patterns you like the best and which way I should gear for future projects. I would like to give a special thank you to the patrons who help bring these videos to you. If you are interested in becoming a patron of my channel, you can click that link in the description box below and you can get more details on that information. All the links to the patterns, instructions, and the videos will be in the description box for your convenience. I hope this video has inspired you to get crocheting, brighten up your kitchen, and just have fun with crochet. Thank you for stopping by today. Please make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of the crocheting fun. Until next time, happy crocheting everyone!